Hi everybody, it's Garrett here again with FixMySauna.com and in today's video I wanted to show you guys just another one of our conversions uh, that we're doing for a lot of these older saunas. This is a, a Infinity Sauna here, um, but it's actually Brighton Sauna, Infinity Sauna, they, those were two of the, the same companies pretty much, both the same boxes. Um, this box usually fails, you know, usually there's an issue with the processor based in, in the controller. Um, it's usually not fixable because we can't get the parts. Nobody can get the parts. So um, that controller is basically useless. And, you know, unfortunately, there's a microcontroller in the control panel and a microcontroller in your power supply. So if you don't have both of them communicating together, we can't just wire in a new panel to your older power supply, if that makes sense. So we can't take this power box and put a new control panel on it because they won't communicate together. So uh, basically everything has to get scra scrapped. So what we do um, in cases like this is um, we start pulling your connectors because these are usually proprietary connectors. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull the connector is off of, so for an in instance here, we pulled your heater connectors off of this old box. Uh, then we pulled your uh, DC 12 volt output connector and then your accessory connector. So we pulled both of those off. Um, and then so basically, so what the technician here does is then he wires in uh, your connectors See, there's our connectors right there, or there's your old connector right there um, to our new connector here that goes to our custom box. Um, so for example, this one has, uh, this particular box has five heaters on it. Our box only has four outputs. However, our box may only have four outputs, but it's capable of running twice as much as what this old box was capable of running. So what we do is we create three here, um, so there's three cables there and then what we do on the other two let me move over here uh, what we do on the other two is we put them on a distribution block so we take two here um, combine the two and then into one so basically how that works then is we take this new box that we build and we just start plugging them in here i'm gonna have to put the camera over for a second so i can do this Okay, perfect. So now we've got the distribution block over here going to the two heaters. Um, again, this is our box is, is fully capable of handling twice as much as most of these boxes. So when we use a terminal strip like this, it's perfectly safe. It's not a big deal as long as the connections are secure. Um, the rail up there is all on one circuit basically. So it, it really doesn't make a difference. Now there are uh, certain circumstances in saunas where your technician will talk to you um, that this box may not be able to handle your load. For example, if you've got a four-person sauna, uh, you know, running nine to 14 heaters, uh, just make sure you talk to your technician about that. But, so this is how cool this is. We've got all of your uh, existing connectors here plugged into our box now with our connectors. Um, then, uh, the other thing over here is we had the 12 volt DC output. So that output um, is actually on this cable here. So we took that connection off and put it on, on the 12 volt connection on ours. So this will plug in straight to, I think this is the CD player on this one. Um, and this will plug either CD player or lighting, 12 volt lighting. So this will plug straight into this box. Um, this is the CD SIG cable here, boom. So that goes in just like that and that connects in. So basically what we've done is we've taken all the connections off of your box um, and integrated them and uh, basically made them compatible with the box that we've designed. So um, again, this is a much better way of doing things. Uh, it's very, very hard to get parts for these older saunas. 
um, the components. Uh, if you got a processor issue like this one had, it's, it's impossible to fix it. No technician in the world, unless the, the manufacturer that actually built that, which is good luck trying to find them in China, uh, there's no way you're going to get it. I don't care what anybody tells you. There's no way you're going to get it fixed. Um, so, and if you do get it fixed, then you have the worry of it breaking again and then something else going. Uh, when you do these box conversions through Fix My Sauna, uh, we know all the parts. We have access to all the parts, the processors, the control panels, everything we have access to. So in the future, if it breaks, th there's no worries. It's, it's not like we're trying to troubleshoot something all over again. You know, it's a very easy component swap type deal for us. So um, I hope this helps you guys. Again, this is Brighton Sauna um, and Infinity. Um, usually you're going to have a control pad, something like that. Uh, it's going to say Infinity on it or Brighton Sauna. So um, again, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call 877-988-2111 or uh, visit our website, fixmysauna.com. Uh, submit a support ticket or email us at parts at fixmysauna.com. As always, good health and have a great day. Bye now.